Hello everybody, this is Mike Austin with Lakeology. I'm here to clear up some problems I see with my brush tutorial here. Um, we'll see what happened was I edited out a part where I made a second brush here. Um, it's due to my editing here. I didn't really notice that I changed the brush that much when I made my, my outro. Okay, we're back in that original file again. I have my original brush here. And the only thing I did differently is I made another brush because I was showing, I was giving a demo on how to change your brushes, but I was going to make that into a different video. But um, I think I left a, a part of that in the original one. I was going to make two videos to help that because I didn't want to cover too much at one point. I wanted to keep it real quick tip t style, you know. So what I did here was I took my actual, um, my wrinkle tool. I just went over it with this first, like this. Just go over it a little bit. That's all I pretty much did with the with the tool. Added that into the brushes. Let's go ahead and drop that in here. Art brush. Um, let's get tints. Okay, looks good there. And what I did after that, I just went ahead and start, I drew up. I drew the same stroke with it, a little bit there. But you can see my my scallops kind of going up and down. Yours, you might want to make yours gold. Just how mine is there. So I'm gonna drag another copy out here. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the scowl tool again. I think I um no, oh, let's go wrinkle better. I'm gonna use the I'm gonna go um horizontal more and then vertical zero like this. So again, nice little scalp like that going this way. So you can make him change it more to feathery if you want to. So all I did was change the scallop on that, and it looks even more feathery that way. So that's even more fun. Let me change that a little bit more. Get that up intensity, maybe 60. Just change it up a little bit. That's all I pretty much did with that. So I'm sorry for you guys for the confusion there. Um, I just left that part out. I was gonna make a part two of it, but I left part a little bit of part two in part one, so you guys didn't know what I was doing. And I'm so glad you guys came out there and really asked me these questions because I'm really looking at the at the forums on Vector Toots and even on Vectology to really know what I'm doing. You know, seeing how you guys are doing my tutorial. So, um, this is Mike Gosson with Vectology, and thank you very much for watching.